friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on WW Personal Points. It is Monday, I am back. I am back from all the trips that I've been taking and we are back to meal prep. And I can't tell you how excited I am about the three recipes that I have for you today. We have breakfast, lunch, and dessert, fall inspired comfort food, super excited. So if you're excited to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not, and make sure your bell's turned on so you never miss a meal prep. And I also upload five videos per week. Check out the description box down below for nutrition coaching. Highly recommend having your personalized macros and calories done. That is what catapulted my almost 130 pound weight loss. And I have one-on-one -on -one coaching if you would like to chat with me directly. You'll also find links and discounts to my favorite things and come join our Facebook group. We'd love to have you. So let's jump into three amazing recipes. breakfast this week I am making ham and cheese scones. I love scones. I love sweet scones, savory scones. I am super, super excited for these. So let me show you what's in the recipe. You're going to need all purpose flour, sweetener of your choice. As always, I'm using Lakanto granulated. This is my favorite sweetener alternative. For me, it tastes the most like regular sugar. I'll link Lakanto down below for you with 15% off site-wide. So you can pick up any of their products for 15% off. You'll need some buttermilk, salt and pepper. I will also link my gravity fed salt and pepper grinders down below. We love these, you guys love these, so I'll link those for you. Some light butter, garlic powder, baking powder, fresh chives, you could also use dried chives, ham, eggs, and some light shredded cheese. So to get started on our scones, the first thing we're going to do is add two cups of all purpose flour to a large bowl, one tablespoon of Lakanto sweetener, two and a half teaspoons of baking powder, about three quarters of a teaspoon of garlic powder, salt and pepper. Then we're going to add in one cup of light shredded cheese and about three tablespoons of chives. Mix that together until everything is combined. Now we're going to add in one half of a cup of our light butter. We want that cold, so as cold as we can get it straight out of the refrigerator and then kind of chop that into the dry mixture. We want the butter to be little pea-sized bits in our scone mixture. Go ahead and throw that in the fridge while we mix together the wet ingredients. In a small bowl, add two-thirds of a cup of buttermilk. Then we actually want to separate our egg, so we want to reserve the egg white for later. So I'm going to just use an egg separator. Keep your egg white aside for later, add your yolk in with the buttermilk, and then we're going to mix that together really well. Go ahead and pull your scone mixture out of the refrigerator, and we're going to add in the buttermilk mixture. And then we're adding in three quarters of a cup of diced ham, and we're going to mix that together really well. I'm going to work my scone mixture into a ball of dough and then transfer it either to a floured surface. I'm going to just use a plastic cutting board to actually form the scones. Go ahead and cut your dough into eight scones. And then we're going to add each of our scones to a parchment lined baking sheet. We want them a couple inches apart because they will grow as they cook. So I have about a tablespoon of buttermilk and my egg white that we reserved from earlier. Mix that together really well and we're gonna brush that over the top of the scones. That's going to give it that flaky scone crust. We're going to pop our scones in the refrigerator for about 15 minutes while our oven preheats to 400 degrees. So our scones are going into the 400 degree oven for about 22 to 25 minutes until they are cooked through, flaky and brown on top. 
I just pulled our ham and cheese scones out of the oven. Can we just talk about how amazing these look? I wish I had smell vision so you could smell them. They smell so cheesy and savory. I'm planning on pairing these with some fruit and some eggs so I get a little bit of extra protein. I will go ahead and put points calories, protein here on the screen for you. This is going to be such an amazing breakfast this next week. I'm going to go ahead and put some fruit together for the week so that I can have fruit with my morning scone. And I picked up this new fresh produce fruit and vegetable storage container three piece set from the brand Lux Ear. These are BPA free refrigerator storage containers. I love that they're partitioned for salad. It's so easy to go ahead and put two different kinds of lettuce between the two partitions and keep them separate. You could also use this for other vegetables that you don't want to mix together. You can store fruits, vegetables, meat, fresh fish, you name it. These are perfect for any type of storage. I love that there is the small container for those single little packs of fruit or vegetables. The middle size container has double dividers, one that goes on the bottom to allow the water to drain so your fruit or vegetables last longer. And then there's a middle layer as well if you wanted to put more than one type of fruit in that medium sized container. And then the largest one is absolutely perfect for lettuce, multiple kinds of lettuce. I love that they come with adjustable foldable partitions for classified storage. This also prevents your food from squeezing, rotting, or sogginess. It will keep your fruits and vegetables a lot longer. And we know how expensive fruits and vegetables are. We want to be able to keep them as long as possible. They have a great multifunctional design. There are holes at the bottom of each container to allow to dr allow you to drain. So if you wanted to actually rinse your fruit, vegetable, or salads in the colander portion of these containers, you can allow the excess moisture to come out the bottom by opening up the little spout at the bottom. So that's really, really nice. It allows for filtering out the water on the surface of vegetables and fruit because that reduces the spoilage. Of course, they're BPA free food grade material and they're an ideal gift. We know the holidays are right around the corner. It would be great for anybody on a health journey or anyone in your family that needs some extra storage. I love how they look in the refrigerator. They don't take up a lot of space. They're stackable and I especially love that there are vents at the top of each of the containers. You can either open those or not depending on what fruit or vegetable you have in the container. It's just such an easy way to store your fruits and vegetables for longevity and you can say goodbye to a messy refrigerator with the Lux Ear food storage containers. You can pick these up right off of Amazon, Amazon Prime, free shipping, and right now there is an extra 10% off when you check the little box to apply the coupon. I will go ahead and link the Lux Ear fresh produce vegetable fruit storage containers down below for you. For my lunch this week, I am making slow cooker honey garlic chicken. I'm going to go ahead and get this started so that by the time I'm done with the rest of my meal prep, our lunch is ready as well. This is going to be a super easy, convenient, high protein, and of course, delicious lunch. So let me show you what's in our recipe. You're going to need some hoisin sauce, rice, wine, vinegar, sesame oil, honey, soy sauce, minced garlic, of course chicken. I'm going to make quite a bit so that I can have this for lunches this week, cornstarch, and some ginger. So the first thing we're going to do is just get our chicken in the bottom of our crock pot. And we're gonna to put together the sauce for the chicken. So first thing I'm going to do is add a big heaping scoop of minced garlic, one quarter cup of honey, one quarter cup of hoisin sauce, about a teaspoon of minced ginger, a teaspoon of sesame oil, half of a cup of soy sauce, which I don't even quite think I have a full half of a cup, but you want half of a cup total of soy sauce, and then a tablespoon of rice wine vinegar. Mix all of that together really well. This is going to be the sauce, and this looks so good. And pour your sauce right on top of your chicken. We're going to set our crock pot to low for about two to three hours. Just keep an eye on your chicken. About an hour before the chicken is done, we're going to add some green onions or some scallions. We just don't want them to become too mushy in the cooking process. So I'm going to go ahead and set my crock pot for three hours. We have about an hour left on our chicken. I decided to go ahead and add a shallot. My green onions were not good. They went bad. I did not even realize. So I'm going to add a shallot. That's going to give kind of that same oniony flavor. So it's 
top off the lid, add those in, and allow that to cook down with the chicken for the last hour. One hour later. All right, our chicken is done. This smells incredible. I did grab out a plate. I'm going to pull out all of the chicken, leave all of the liquid behind. We're going to thicken that up a little bit for a sauce, but we want to remove all the chicken to a plate and we're going to shred it up. in the crock pot we're going to add about a tablespoon of cornstarch mix that up to make a slurry you can also transfer this liquid to your stove if you would like in a saucepan to even thicken it up more but I'm going to just let it thicken and cook in the crock pot it is still super hot still plugged in still warm so we're going to just mix that together until thickened once your sauce is thickened, go ahead and add back in all of your shredded chicken and then toss to coat. Look at how amazing this looks. It smells so good. Seriously, I wish you could smell it. That sauce just really coated the chicken. What I'm going to do is just transfer this to a storage container once it is cooled. And I think I'm going to cook up some frozen stir fried vegetables, mix that all together and make a stir fry. You could also add your favorite rice or potato, but I will go ahead and put here on the screen the points, calories and protein for the slow cooker honey garlic chicken. For dessert this week, I'm making maple oatmeal apple pie. We had apple pie at my in-laws a couple weeks ago and it got me thinking I need to make an apple pie, but a little bit more calorie and WW friendly. So let me show you what's in our recipe. First, you're going to need some rolled oats, some unsweetened coconut flakes, all-purpose flour, again, granulated sugar substitute. Of course, I'm using my Lakanto. You'll need some milk of your choice. It doesn't really matter what kind. You're using very, very little in the recipe. Four apples, I have honey crisp. Again, you can use any apple. Vanilla extract, cinnamon, ginger, eggs, brown sugar substitute. I, again, Lakanto Golden is my all-time favorite. Don't forget, I'll link Lakanto down below for you with 15% off. And I'm also using the Lakanto sugar-free maple syrup. It tastes the most like regular maple syrup to me and there's no caramel coloring, which is something I try to avoid that you find in most sugar-free maple syrup. So a really good option. You'll need some light butter and a pie crust. So the first thing we're going to do for our pie is put our crust into our pie dish. You can make a homemade pie crust if you want. I am not. I don't think that that is something I'm going to be very talented at. So I went ahead and just bought the pre-done pie crust. Again, it just makes it a little bit quicker and easier as well. So go ahead and place that into the bottom of your pie dish. Into a good sized bowl, go ahead and add all of your diced, peeled, chopped up apples, three tablespoons of Lakanto sweetener, Two tablespoons of all-purpose flour, cinnamon, and ginger. And then mix that together. You want to make sure your, all of your apples get coated in the sugar, flour, ginger, and cinnamon. And then go ahead and set that aside. Into another bowl, a little bit smaller than the one we mixed our apples in, we're going to do four tablespoons of melted light butter, two tablespoons of all-purpose flour, six tablespoons of sugar-free syrup, one quarter cup of Lakanto granulated, one half of a cup of unsweetened coconut flakes, one quarter cup of Lakanto golden, one egg, about a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and a quarter cup of milk. And then again, mix that together really well. So to our pie crust, we're going to add our apple pie filling. And then we're just going to pour our liquid mixture right on top. Spread that over those apples as evenly as you can. Then we're going to sprinkle about half of a cup of oatmeal right on top. 
I like to kind of press the oats in a little bit. I want to make sure that they get soft during the cooking process. Nothing is worse than just a crunchy, uncooked oat on top. If you would rather, you could actually even mix the oats in with the liquid before pouring it over the apples. The maple oatmeal apple pie is out of the oven. I cannot tell you how amazing this smells as well and how good this looks. I have the crust cooked perfectly. It's a little bit toasted, which is exactly what we're looking for. I did end up placing a piece of foil on it for about the last 20 minutes or so because the crust was getting pretty browned and I didn't want it to burn, but this is dessert. I can't believe we can actually have pie while we're losing weight. And wait until you hear calories, protein, points for this pie compared to traditional pie for all of the fall flavor. So I'll put everything here on the screen for you. And of course the recipe is on my website. Thank you for joining me on this week's WW meal prep. I hope you are as excited about these three recipes as I am. I can't wait to have scones for breakfast, honey garlic chicken for lunch and pie. Yes, pie for dessert. If you enjoyed today's video, give it a thumbs up, make sure you're subscribed and your bell's turned on so you never miss a future meal prep or any other video. Don't forget all of the recipes are on my website, which is linked down in the description box, along with nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things and my Facebook group. Come join us there. We'd love to have you. Happy Monday, friends, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.